sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Hello guys, and welcome back to my playthrough. It looks like we are with Marcus right now, who's uh, come back from the dead. He put himself together, and now he's back. Ah, yes. Yeah, I was just going to say, um, in that uh, android graveyard, that android gave him some information about um, finding Jericho. So, I guess we're on the search for Jericho right now. Okay, he's got a symbol on his hand. And I'm meant to find this symbol somewhere, I guess. Oh, well, here it is. Huh. Okay. They missed you. Did you spare some change? I haven't got any money, sorry. Ah, okay, so we, we found this um, graffiti. Am I made to scan it or something? Press left click to analyze the symbol. Oh, okay, it's that, it's that kind of um, pattern, right? Find this graffiti. Okay, so we gotta find another one now. I know, it's crazy, right? Okay. We'll have a walk around sure. the city then. Totally. Yeah, there's androids everywhere. Is Derek down there? Yeah, I think I think that's it down there. Looks like a boxing uh, a graffiti of a scene from a boxing match. Okay, so when you leave? Okay. Talk. Do you know where Jericho is? No response. Yeah, I expected that. <laughs> or about if we talk to him? He doesn't talk. Right. Let's find the symbol. Yep, there is. Gotta find two of those. Um. I'm not sure where is that one. There it is. Okay. Next one. It looks like it's next to some barbed wire. And it's got like several colours on there. Okay. Should be able to find that. Ah, up there, you see? There's bright colours over there. Let's go. I'm sure it's going to be here. Yeah. So, there's one. And... There's one. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, next one. It looks like it's behind a fence and it's robots. Okay. Um, I'm going to check this one. It's interesting Marcus can run now. Hey, so you got a dollar? No, nope, sorry, I don't have any money. Ah! Is that it? Okay, there's three here. There's one there, there's one there, and I think there's one there. Obstructed symbol. Okay, that piece, that pallet is blocking the symbol. 
so oh I need to get inside okay one it looks like a graffiti of a woman's face just gonna have a quick check here oh there it is okay that wasn't too difficult okay just having a look around the area right there's one See the other one actually. Is it there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see the other one. Oh, okay. I gotta get on the roof to see it. Really? Can't. All right. I can't see it from there apparently. Um. Okay. I'll move this. I wonder what this Jericho place is. Or who is Jericho? I wonder. Okay, and here's the last one. Okay, that looks like some kind of graffiti that says... Um, do I have to go across? Okay. Pre-construct. Use the following key to pre preview route. Hmm. Oh, I, I can kind of see which route would work best. Right, and then I'm going to jump on that. And that would work. Okay, that's cool. That's a really cool feature, right? You can... and I can execute that. Okay. Yeah. The miracle of technology. <laughs> right, drop down. Yeah, it's up here. It's Sparkle City. What is this place anyway? It's like a abandoned warehouse or something. Right, there's one. Hmm, there's one. And there. Okay, got it. That looks like it's inside somewhere. I guess it's inside this building. Pre-construct again. Okay. I guess I need to get up there or something. Let's see. Okay. Would not be solid enough. So let's try the other route. Then, hmm, is that okay? Yeah, that would work. Yeah, that would work. And then I'm gonna jump on that. Would be too high, okay. Then I'll go this way then. And that would work, okay. Right. Let's do that then.
All right. What a cool feature. Okay. We're inside now. Let's have a look at that graffiti. Right. And this place doesn't look very uh, cozy. <laughs> oh, it's going to be right here. Then. Yeah. It should be right here. It's behind this pillar. I think. It's not here? Where is it? What am I looking at? Oh, it's only one symbol. Yeah? Right, okay. Um, that looks f further in the building somewhere. Oh, is that a... Is that an android? Yeah. Okay, I can't go that way. Yeah, remove it. Okay. Right, just gonna remind myself how that graffiti looked like. Oh! That container said Jericho on it. Is that Jericho? <clears throat> it looks like some kind of abandoned uh, ship or something. I assume uh, I go this way then. <laughs> okay, I don't go that way. Let's try this way. Yeah. Maybe I can get across here, yeah. Where is this place? <clears throat> Jump. Okay, I can see I can see water down there, so that's true. I didn't know I'll be playing Assassin's Creed in this game as well. <laughs> okay. Hey, what happened to his coach? See anything? Pick up. Oh, it's a flashlight, okay. Well, we call it a torch over here, but yeah, some people call it flashlight. <laughs> Man, this place is creepy. I've 
no idea where I'm meant to be going by the way. Push. Looks like some sailor's bedroom. Tech addict. Cyber life's fortune teller computer. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Technology advances. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. I didn't expect that in this game. Ah. Yeah, of course. I'm guess, I guess I'm gonna have to follow that, aren't I? Yeah. Well, he would follow it because androids don't fear nothing here Un unless they gain, they get human emotion, and then they think um, they can fear things. All right? Yeah, get in there. No, no, in, in, yeah. Looks like we're in the engine room. Go down there. Thought it's gonna fall down. Then. Uh oh. Ooh. Ow. Crash bang wallop. Androids. Welcome to Jericho. Oh, really? Is that Jericho? All right then. Hey guys, we found Jericho. Okay, met people of Jericho. Okay, great, fantastic. Next one. It looks like we're with Hank and Connor. Okay, reconcile with you. Lieutenant Anderson. Yeah, let's go. Hey, Yank. How you doing, man? Hey, Yank. How you doing, man? Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five. Wow, the graphics in this game, guys, amazing, right? Look at the reflections and stuff. You want to flood Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred per- Oh, I can scan. Okay. Let's scan. Um, Detroit Food Hygiene License. License expired 2031. Uh, and the date is 2038. So, he's not had a food, food hygiene license for seven years. Okay. Who's this guy? Pedro Abda. 
Okay, unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. Right. And this guy? Wow, we know Hank, don't we? Yeah. Criminal record, none. Yes, of course. Hank is nice and clean. Same <laughs> guaranteed, you can't go wrong. I want to check that guy. Yeah, him. Gary Case, born. Okay, business owner, criminal record, resistant assess, arrest, breach of hygiene regulations, of course, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. I think Hank goes gambling just there. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> like a poodle. Um, apologize for behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nosing apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. Oh. I was gonna scan something just there. Ah. Okay. Excel saw the carbonated pineapple passion. Right. Yeah, I've scanned that. I wanna scan the burger. Hamburger. Okay. He can uh, yeah. We've already seen that Thanks, I've Gary, I'm starving. Yeah. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> Can't I have something? <laughs> See? Um, let's ask him about that gambling he did. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, let's talk to him about his meal. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. <laughs> Um, about Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> right. Okay, Hank and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Okay. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. That makes sense. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? No. No, we don't know everything about you. 
I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and <laughs> you spend a lot of time in bars. Yeah. So what's your conclusion? Um... I think I'll be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. So Hank's our friend now, I think. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, they plan on book. staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Yep. Let's get going. Right, what do we know about this guy? Where are we? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be li living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding feathers, rock an pigeon. LED under his cap. Oh Christ! If we have to investigate, every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, because police reports are usually really long and take a lot of time writing on the computer. All right. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit Police! Oh. Stay behind me. Got it. Someone's in there. Go on, then open it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck is this? Oh, my, there's a bunch of pigeons in here. Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Investigate department. This place is like full of pigeons. Someone's keeping pigeons. Uh, looks in. like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. His ID here. Okay. Rupert the driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. <laughs> Look at. What is this? M military jacket. RT. RT. Hmm. Probably initials. Yeah. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Ah, you see RA9 again on the wall. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Wow. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. It, counted all that so quick. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Hmm. Obsessive compulsive writing. Okay. Open marker pen. Still wet, recently used.
were installed recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Okay. Oh, is that what was happening? Right. Right, I see. I think I see. Okay, he was writing on the wall. And then... Oh, okay, okay, okay. He, he was writing on the wall. And then he probably heard us at the door. And then... He, do you remember that sound we heard? That thud? That was the stool falling. Then he fell there. Suspect ran into the living room. LED. Okay. Its LED is in the sink. Suspect. Not surprised is a it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. E. What the fuck? <laughs> all right. Model WB two hundred. We found some interesting stuff in there. All old barn. It's food for animals. Oh, there's a kind of a maze on the wall here. Let's check the fridge. Jesus, I hate these things! Suspect doesn't eat, yeah, that means he's an android. Okay. Was well, there something here? Ah. Looks Real like books. there's a crack in the wall. Urban farms of Detroit. It looks like there's a crack behind the wall, uh, behind the poster. Poster corner. Right. Yeah, I've seen that. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper, see the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Yeah, it's got those same mazes in this book. Or is this book? Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. something here. Cage. Is there really any use for a cage when all the pigeons are <laughs> free in the room? Okay. Skid mark recently. Ah. Fing finger marks recent. Traces of av avian fecal matter. No, uh, no fingerprint means it's a um, Android and this recently broken metal hook reconstruct. Ah, okay, so that guy came through there, he, he knocked that, that fell. That was probably the noise actually. Suspect heard us enter. Right. Then. Suspect is still here. Really? Oh, he's, he's still in. How come all of them hide in the attic? <laughs> is he in the attic? <clears throat> ah! 
Whoa. Is that God damn fucking pigeons? What are you waiting for? Chase it! Shit, go, go, go. Oh my god. It's gonna be chase sequence. See where I'm going. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him. Oh shit! Oh shit! We had it. Yeah, we had Fuck. it. Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. I hope so. Shit, that was an intense one, guys. <laughs> it was intense. Hey, Connor. Thanks, Connor. Nothing. Oh, he was gonna say thanks. I know he was. <laughs> wow. That chase sequence was uh, something... Uh, yeah, it was intense. Rupert got away. Okay, it was Rupert. Right, continue. Ah, we're back with Marcus and his uh, Jericho friends. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Um, refuge. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. Um, trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho! I understand how you oh. feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Um... Lucid. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. 
Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Right. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Thanks, Josh. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Okay. Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. Right, okay. Mm. Can I... Okay. Alright, okay. So if I start to fire, some people come and stand around. Okay. Can we talk with this guy? Yeah. He looks roughed up. I'm not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. Wow, that's horrible. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. Okay. Okay, let's explore a little. North was her name. Talk. Um, Jericho. Who found this place? <clears throat> Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. You. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? I was just asking. Gosh. <laughs> All right. Um. How long have you been? How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Hmm. Right, thanks for the tip. more androids back there. Can I talk with any of them? No. Yes I can. I think. There's some prompt here. Oh. It's actually here. Crate already emptied. Oh these are like spare parts for androids. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue. Calculating route. All right. There was something here. Yeah, RA9. I knew it would be that. Some kid here. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. 
He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. That the kid, them that kid is an android as well. Components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Right, so they've got no supplies to keep them going. And also this kid is, a, is actually an android, which I find interesting. Didn't know there was kid androids. Um, did I start a fire somewhere? Should I talk with her? Okay. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Wow, is that it? Is that how they go? It's frozen in time. Okay. I've only been here five minutes and people are starting to die. Bloody it. <laughs> I can hear some singing or something around here. Ah, this must be Lucy. Oh my god, she's got no head. Are you Lucy? Wow. Sit down. That's crazy. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Okay, that looks like the um, therium that Connor was talking about. Delicious. Right, who is this woman though? Give me your hand. Reminds me of the Matrix. You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled, a part of shadow and a part of light, which will prevail. Mm. Your choices will shape our destiny. All right. Seems like Marcus has some big decisions ahead of him. Propose a plan to Simon. Okay. Which one was Simon again? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's him. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm That's with true. You. Maybe it's worth a try. All right, guys, that's the spirit. <laughs> okay, so that was um, that part. And uh, we actually, I just noticed something. We didn't see any um, part from Kara in this part, but I'm sure we'll see something next time. So I'll see you then.